Here's the $65 million question. Why does the utility Eversource want to build a brand new gas pipeline right through towns in Western Massachusetts? Legislators, environmentalists, health professionals, and local residents are saying that this project must be stopped. This is not reliability. This is just creating a different point of failure for the entire Springfield gas supply and costing us $65 million to do it and polluting the air of Springfield even more when we are already 12th on the list of asthma capitals in the nation. One in five cases no asthma. So this pipeline is starting here in Longmeadow and actually moving through very densely populated neighborhoods, passing very close to Wolf Swamp Elementary School, and then continuing on over the border into Springfield, into Forest Park. There are playing fields, it's where children play, and then moving across through another densely populated neighborhood, passing through Sumner Avenue School, and then passing into downtown Springfield that's centered right where this pipeline is to go through. What's the purpose of this? And, and what was reported to us was that it would be a second backup pipeline in addition to the main pipeline that already uh, comes into the city of Springfield. We asked very pointedly, is this pipeline that currently is in existence, is there a danger of it failing? And the answer to those questions was no. The existing system is uh, 70 years old, you know, really indefinite as long as we continue to maintain it. Why now? Why all of a sudden do you need this extra construction when you've had, you know, reliable power in both communities for a long time? Going through some of the most fragile neighborhoods in the Commonwealth. This isn't just about a pipeline that's going underground just in case the other one breaks down. This is about people, and it's about people being healthy. We know that gas lines all leak. We know that they leak methane, which is toxic. So the more pipelines that we have, the more pollutants will be in the air. Historically, Springfield has said to be the asthma capital of the, the U.S. in 2018 and 2019. And everything that we release into the air comes in into environmental justice communities. This project here will bring a lot of different activists and organizers together from the Longmeadow community, which isn't an environmental justice community, but Springfield, which is. Frankly, it might be illegal based on where the Massachusetts environmental justice laws are right now. And typically it's black and brown poor people. It's a law that we have to fix the problem. Residents are also nervous about another risk from gas pipelines. They have already experienced disaster. This used to be a neighborhood. We had a large explosion on Worthington Street. Yes, gas workers fell. Total devastation. Buildings were leveled to the ground. Send many ambulances that can get here. And it was as if someone dropped a bomb. Still recovering. Haven't quite recovered yet. A backup pipeline? At what cost? The rate payers pay for it. We pay for it. We also have the added cost of the impact on our health care. It's going to cost us tenfold when it comes to our health outcomes. There could be a lot of other ways that they could spend the money that would bring us to carbon neutral. The biggest question of all is why Eversource wants to lock its customers into fossil fuel in the midst of the global climate crisis. With the new Massachusetts Climate Roadmap Act, we're not supposed to be doing projects that will increase the use of fossil fuels. The project flies in the face of the bipartisan goal we've had in Massachusetts to transition to renewable energy. We need them to invest in something that is future-proof, not taking a step back. The cost of inactivity or putting our head in the sand is greater than the cost of making the change. Before they can build the pipeline, Eversource needs a go or no-go from government agencies. If I were DPU, what I would be considering is, what do the people in this community want? And not based on what is best for a corporate profit. The days of polluters just being rubber stamped in cities like ours are over. If they want to invest in our city and into our community, into the country, into the world, you know, they should be investing in clean energy. Folks that, that make these decisions, let's sit down at the table. Let's get a new scheme. The opposition to this pipeline is massive, and it comes from every front. It remains to be seen. Will the DPU listen? And will Eversource get on board with moving Massachusetts to a clean and safe energy future? <laughs>